Masego kind of began as far as just like the artistry uh, when I was like, uh, what was it, freshman in high school? I was in this go go band. And that was like, Gogo was the first thing that I saw that was like just different than everything around me. Everything was just real cut, cut dry. Like this is hip hop, this is whatever. But th that was the first like fusion of uh, music I saw. Um, and so Masego was born in Jamaica, Waterhouse, Jamaica. And as far as like, uh, I was watching yesterday what put me on the jazz music for real. It was this, this movie called We're Back Dinosaurs. And um, it's... I don't know who was by or whatever, but it's, it's on Netflix for all y'all Netflixers out there. But yeah, I heard that there was a saxophone solo in that movie that really just touched me. And um, the dude, the dinosaur in it was uh, scatting. He was just like mumbling something and it was just some rhythms. He was like, scoob up to bop to bop to bop And I was like, that is tight. I don't know what he's saying, but it's cool. And so, uh, yeah. That, that was really the beginning of just like, just thinking of uh, just different ways uh, to just kind of like f figure out what a fully realized Masego is. And so, you know, it started in high school. I mean, I did my first talent show with that go go band, everybody was digging it. And then I, that's why I came to college cocky, like, yo, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm the man. Like, man, I was in this go go band, you might have heard of it. But um, yeah, it's just been a real big process of. Uh, Figuring out who I am, you know, trap scat was a, 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 a term I coined. Um, trap house jazz came to be when I like graduated high school, and um, it was just kind of like making a genre that, that just made sense to me. And uh, yeah, it's just it's ever growing. It's gonna essentially just be gumbo, just like all these genres just kind of peeking out and everything. All right, so how do I go? It's like. Um, Study <clears throat> Dang. That's what makes my voice my voice. I'm always like on the brink of losing my voice. But no, when I was in here, something for the uh, album was um is like uh, I can't tell y'all that early shoot. Um, basically, I wrote a song about like you know the new problems of the white man trying to take my money away. And I feel like everyone will relate to it because school loans will, will be a part of your life in some sense. Dang, how did I make that joke? It was like, um...
it's not finished either, but I mean, you know, it's, it's gonna capture some souls. You scream out white men these days. Somebody will, they'll like that joke. Just mad cool line in this joint. It was like, um, dang. Why are you always trying to rush me? Late night here as well, actually, because it's just like anything on like a uh, grand piano, it just flows. I forgot how how it was written when I first did it. It was like um, <laughs> the key was late night. Here. I feel like we should play because I have I have no clue how that started. But anything dope happened in this room. Like if I'm trying to uh, compress a short, I'm like, hey, you know, I wrote you a song. What's your name again? Stephanie. Let me, let, me, let me hold your wrist. It'll be one of those, and this is a rap. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel like you, like you look real attractive. What's your mama name? name? All right, we're gonna look up late night. Anybody got it on their phone, or should I just like look this up on myself? Late night, Masengu. Let's see what's happening. Cause I wrote it in here. I can't tell y'all the backstory of that because you know, this, this video probably is gonna reach who it's about. That's cool. You look it up and it look all fancy on the Googles. It's on Vivo. That's 177,000 views. I tell you, that means nothing. But at the same time, it looks good. I know women like that. All right, let's see what key this thing is in. Oh yeah, this this is like the the album version that I have no idea about. Let me see what we got over here. Dun, 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 dun. Like show enough, show enough, then we became old and friends. And she told me she's got friends that need love then. Especially the round two.